Welcome back to another Basics Game Maker Studio tutorial with some new shenanigans which is the clip mask for sequences and here we can actually do some pretty quick and easy animations and one of them we actually gonna do so you can guess which one it is and the cool part of this feature is that you can quickly overlay and do kind of an animation which looks kind of nice and interesting and of course you can go more creative than me this is just to you I showcase what you can actually do this is not just exclusive for i don't know for making cooldowns or some overlay animation but hey let's get right into the good stuff so basically what we're we gonna do and we're not gonna do too much we have one sequence which we're gonna overlay and this is the one which we're gonna do so basically a cooldown for I don't know for healing or whatever and this is the icon which is displaying that and then of course some extra stuff which I'm gonna do and talk about in the last few minutes but not too much so basically here we can kill all that stuff and normally what we need for that is basically here the image and just take into account that the image has the same size as the mask as the canvas you don't have to do this you can stretch those things to your liking but of course it is much easier to handle if they have all the same dimension but of course this is not mandatory you can stretch the mask or the image or whatever to your liking so there's no limit to your creativity so the first thing which we're gonna do we're just gonna drag that dude in here and automatic recording off and let's go for the position because sometimes it puts it into some really really strange places which i don't like so minus 32 by 32 then we align it at the very center yes yes no yes here we go are we at the correct position no of course not because i have no idea why it isn't here we go so apply it now sweet so this does work sometimes it's a little bit wonky and if you do it with a drag and drop you get into some really weird values and so therefore eh. so what we're gonna do let's take it off we want to overlay it and for that we have this new cool feature which you see at the bottom left which is add new clip mask so we just press on that and for that we need two things first of all the image and then a mask or the image well it's an image <laughs> wow i know and then of course the mask is basically a white area which some transparent areas and these transparent areas are not being shown and the white areas are being shown and this represents the the, this is the stuff which you actually see and this is how this whole thing works and therefore it's called masking if you know photoshop and all that stuff well i guess I'm not blowing your mind here so what you're going to do is first of all you need the subject this is the thing which you like to change and apply so let's go for position minus 32 by minus 32 boom put it there and then for now you're seeing nothing because okay where the hell is it it is there but it is invisible because for now we haven't masked it and if you don't mask it with anything it is kind of a not there for the eye of course it is there but you cannot see it and then let's make this well full come on it's kind of difficult to grab those things sometimes here we go here we go and then um, we need to put it at the correct position also you can of course once again do this manually um, with the drag and drop but i'm not a fan i like precise numbers because here it does count and it kind of looks weird or off if you don't do it so here we go are we in yes we are in so let's check it out if it does work sweet and now it is disappearing so we can actually play around of course um if the animation so the clipping mask has more frames than you have here then of course hey make it a little bit longer but here it does have enough so this is already set pretty sweet so let's check it out it does work now the next thing is it uh, first of all it doesn't make any sense to have green on green because hey let's make both visible then let's make both visible ah uh, yeah, yeah i haven't dragged it to the very end yeah this is sometimes really come on yes here we go i got it sometimes really uh, strange or not good to grab those things and now you can see 
that nothing is happening because hey green on green doesn't make any sense so first of all we put it at the back and we make our thing which we like to overlay reddish and then we just go on this little plus sign once again so we need another parameters this is the cool part we just say hey give it a different color and then go for red and then apply it come on apply it as you can see it does work correctly and now we have what we wanted and then we are pretty much finished with the sequence because hey there's nothing going on there so the first thing which we need to do is first first of all have an object which i already put in there so apply the sequence and uh, let's destroy a few things because this is for the other stuff which we don't need so what we're going to do we need to create the sequence so if you watch my last video nothing new layer sequence create then on what kind of layer and then hey we want to have it because it's relative to this object take its x and y positions and what kind of sequence do we want to use well the one which we just edited so this guy here boom and of course we want to uh, grab the id of it so we can actually change a few parameters then we start in here so let's uh, get rid of that and just start it because hey we don't need anything for now other and then as you can see it does work beautifully and then you created your own sequence and now it is looping but maybe you're thinking i want to be near i want to control that thing so how can we do this well first of all one of the interesting parts is here you have a pinhead so as you can see oh no it's called playhead position and the playhead position can be at the zero or for example frame 65 or at the very end so one little nifty thing is for example you can actually check hey is from the so is the layer sequence finished so is it at the very right side of course if you loop it then it won't apply so then it will bounce back and then it doesn't work but if you for example just want to have it once at the end and then you want to do something i don't know the cooldown is down and then you can actually hear then you can actually trigger something in here so you say hey layer sequence is finished this thing needs an input so the id of the sequence which we just created and then in a step event it will check hey are you true are you true now are you true now and then if it is hey do something and i don't know you can heal or shoot or whatever so here one little interesting thing I'm not going to show it because this is quite specific or what you can do is for example let's say you want to hold that thing so then you can say hey a layer sequence pause once again what kind of sequence then once again this one which we stored in there and then we can pause the whole thing so let's check it out we have to press control then well we hold it and then you go of course you can continue it with a layer sequence and i guess play or whatever but you can just check it out so layer actually we can check it out layer sequence get create i guess then you just say play and then it continues to play or what you can do to control a little bit you can say hey layer sequence head position and this is what i actually wanted to do once again you what kind of uh, sequence you want to control and then here the frame and then for example zero would reset it to the very start so here this is the head position once again this guy here and then for example when we started and we press now control we can reset it to zero if you like so sweet so this is hopefully a comprehensive guide to sequences and clip mask and one little thing which is i guess uh, from my side so because i'm kind of lazy <laughs> in this regard so uh, if you like this stuff hey consider subscribing to my channel and of course if you're saying like hey i'd like to uh, check out your udemy course so mine which i did for beginners and then i don't want to put the coupon code every month because this is the stupid part about uh, udemy you have to do this every month I will put it permanently a new one every month into the channel information and then you can uh, grab that here and then well you are supporting me indirectly of course you can just go into udemy 
and get it from there without any coupon codes but then i'm getting i don't know one percent or even less than then one up in the out <laughs>